Hey everyone, welcome to another MLM dumpster fire. Today we're here to watch some unhinged prove it representatives. I'm actually recording the intro again because my camera just decided to, I don't know what the hell happened, but the quality was really very, very poor. I didn't say anything interesting in it. I just said that these Huns are both in Jesse Lee's downline, which as you're gonna see is very, very obvious just from their demeanor, the way they talk, AKA shout at people. And both of them have been featured on my channel in the past, you are gonna know both of their faces. A lot of other Entitlement creators covered these two as well because they're particularly problematic. Um, and yeah, they're no different in this video either, as you can probably tell from the title. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to support my channel in a very nice free way. And as always, big shout out to all my channel members. Really appreciate you guys. And let's just get into this. But I already recorded it. Okay, Eva from the past jumping in. <laughs> Let's just take a look at the screenshot first. So this is another prove it rep and she says, me riding in my paid for Denali while my stay at home husband drives us thinking about how so many mamas are out there that I could show how to earn money on their phone if they just be open to the info. First of all, manipulation 101 in my opinion. If I saw something like this scrolling while scrolling on my Instagram, I'd just be like, uh, even if I wasn't in the anti-MLM movement, I feel like I just would not like this because it's like, oh, look at me, my life is so great and my car is paid for, don't you just want to have my life? And it's like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> Genuinely, like any type of business propositions or opportunities that you get on social media, I, I would be very, very careful with what I'm doing. Even when I receive emails and stuff for like collaborations and stuff, I come from a point of very, very suspicious. Like I got an email from L'Oreal apparently last week. They were asking if I want some free products and the email seemed legit because it was L'Oreal.com. But then I was like, I know people get hacked or whatever, you know? And I looked up the lady that was signing the email and apparently she's head of communications in L'Oreal around this area. Um, so I wasn't sure, but I just responded back. Where did you find my profile? What would this collaboration look like in more details and things like that? And I never received a response. So I, I think it was something dodgy, but yeah, always come from a skeptical place. And some would say that that's toxic, but you can never be more careful, especially like I said, if you're on social media, and someone's reaching out to you. Yeah, I would not trust that. This is the same woman and she says, if you would just put your head down and really work for six months, you could put yourself two to five years ahead in life. Wow, okay, let's see quickly before we get into the videos. Let's take a look at the income disclosure statement. Oh my God, they have such stupid looking income disclosure statements as well. The very last rank promoter in 2022, average annual income was $10.48. So that's Cream's great business opportunity. Ah, even the rank above that average annual income was $304.18, which is just freaking ridiculous. Both of these ranks have zero low income and even the third rank from the bottom has zero as a low income. You working on this business that is set up in a way that most people are going to fail and it's not going to benefit anyone other than the people on the top. It doesn't matter how long you work your ass off. That kind of business is not going to work for you. We always like to say the only few ways to be successful in a multi-level marketing company is first, if you join early, second, if you have a big following on social media, which you can recruit then when you join the company, or third, if you have your own actual small business or anything outside of MLM where you have relationship with your clients and then you can sell or recruit those clients into prove it. So anyway, let's, let's start off with this one. This one is always, oh, she's so loud. So I'm so sorry, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> There's a very good reason why I call this folder and this series prove it unhinged. And I feel like her intro just, <laughs> her intro just tells it all. everybody doing happy Sunday y'all I wanted to come on here and give y'all some value on how to find your exact DMOs in order to grow your business what action should you personally be doing in your business every single day in order to grow I'm going to give you an exercise I'm gonna give you some questions to ask you I'm gonna walk you guys through this process 
So you have this outline so you can figure out what actions you need to be taking in your business and you can also deliver this exercise to your teams in order for them to be able to figure out how to best utilize their time in order to get the best return on investment for their time, effort, energy, and focus. If this is already sounding good, drop me a yes in the comments below. I want to share with you guys this exercise. I actually came up with this while I was doing a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with a team member, and I've shared it with multiple people on the team, and I've already actually given this training to those of you that are in my pop-up Telegram channel. So if you like business advice, you want my business tips, hacks, strategies, coachings, whatever else, make sure you are a part of that Telegram. If you are not yet a part of that Telegram where I do pop up trainings, drop the word boss in the comments below if you are watching on Facebook or send me a DM with the word boss if you're watching over on Instagram as the comments will disappear when this live is over, okay? So I've already actually given this training to my uh, pop up business coaching people, but I wanted to share it with all of you as well like a week or two later. So if you wanna be the first to know, make sure you drop boss in the comments below, okay? So let's walk you through how to figure out what actions you personally should be taking in your business in order to move the needle. Because here's the problem with the templates or with the master list or with all of these like copy paste lists that these gurus or coaches are giving out to you is everybody's life is different. Everybody's brand is different. Everybody's focus is different. Everybody's product and company and all of these things are different. So I can't say this is exactly what will work for you and this is what will make you a million dollars. But what I can do is I can walk you through the process of how to mentally think about what actually moves the needle in your business and allow you to duplicate this exact same thing with your teams in order to set you all up for the best customized success possible. If that sounds good, drop me a one in the comments below, okay? And of course, if y'all are catching me live, you know what to do. Drop that word live in the comments below. If y'all are catching the replay, go ahead and drop below that hashtag replay. If you are new to my broadcast, welcome to the Organized Chaos. That is the BA Boss Babe Show. I'm so super excited you're here. My name is Brittany Anderson. Y'all can also call me hashtag BA Boss Babe. And I help women build six and seven figure businesses online in order to become and live debt free. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay here. I have some value. That's a lot of claims. Also, she is so extra. Nothing against loud people. If they're talking about normal stuff. I don't mind loud people. But when they're talking about the business opportunity and anything MLM related and they're acting like this, it's just, it's too much for me. Value to add to your life. And as always, guys, feel free to share. Once you slam that share button, drop the word shared in the comments below so I can love on you and give you a full first and last name shout out. Hello, Alexis and Joanne and Harry and Sin. Thank you so much for being here. And Tasha and... Jeez, talk about being desperate for some social media engagement. <laughs> Sheila and Carolyn, I appreciate you guys so much, okay? So I'm about to give you the first question. So make sure you have your notebooks and a pen or pencil or something to write on so you can write down this question. Okay, let's walk through how to figure out what you should be doing in your business every single day. Okay, my first question to you, you can just write this down or you can drop it in the comments, it's totally up to you. What is one thing that you do in your business every day already that you know works? It's getting you new eyes, it's starting new conversations, it's getting you new customers, it's getting people asking questions about the business, okay? Think of like the smallest thing that you do. It's probably something that you do to share your product or business without even thinking about it. So for me, this one thing is that I share my mix up in my stories every single day. So whatever your product is, you should probably be showing them that you're using it at least once a day, unless you want your customers to use it once a week, then show them that you're using it once a week. But if you want your customers to, to consistently use your product every single day, for me, what I do is I show them that I'm drinking the product every single day. Okay? So that's just one activity. So what is that for you? Is it sharing that you're drinking your product? Do you consistently go live every day? Are you just focused on posting one reel a day? 
Are you making sure you're having one product conversation every single day? Because some of you aren't even making sure you're having one product conversation a day. And if you do just one every single day, that means you're talking to at least 30 people a month about your product, okay? So figure out what that is for you. I just threw some ideas out there to kind of help warm your brain up because I know maybe your brains aren't working at the best capacity possible if y'all are not drinking ketones, okay? So what is that one thing for you? Did she just offend at everyone who's not taking ketones? Second question is what is your intention behind that one thing? So like I said, my one thing that I'm using as an example is my product mix up every single day. What is my intention behind showing that I'm drinking the product? It's not just to show them that I'm drinking the product. Each day I have a very specific intention. Like today I want to start new ketone conversations. Sorry, I didn't mean to say my products. Today I want to start new product conversations. I'm so sorry, I slipped up, okay? Uh, wanna make sure that I'm starting a new product conversation. So the text and the polls that I put on my shakeup in my stories is going to drive that behavior. So I'm going to say, have you never heard of this product before? Click this link to find out more. And then I'm going to put the link to our system that shares a product conversation with them. Or if my intention that day is to actually close customers, I'm going to say, if you've been on the fence about this product, Send me the word ready because I'm doing a free gift for every new customer. Do you see how the action changes with the behavior that I'm trying to drive? Do you see how the intent or the, the actions for the behavior I'm trying to drive is based on the intention? I just changed the entire intention of the same activity simply by changing my words. So if I'm focused on starting new product conversations, I'm going to say, never heard of this product before, click here to find out more. Or if I'm trying to close people from that action, I'm going to say, if you've been on the fence, DM me the word ready because all new customers today get a free gift. Now this is the exact same mix up, but one day, I'm going to drive new conversation behavior. And the next day I'm going to drive closing conversation behavior. If this makes sense, drop an amen in the comments below, please. So I know y'all are tracking with me again. This is just one action in your business. For a lot of you, the issue is not that you're not doing enough activity. If you have a small following in your social media and you're not like any kind of influencer or anything like that, people are not really going to care. And especially if you post very little stories and then every day one of your three stories is you drinking your ketones. Like people are going to get bored after a while. It's not that easy to post stuff that is always interesting for people. And it's not that easy to get people's interest. Like I said, when you don't have following on social media outside of your friends and family, who are you advertising? this to and every single day one reel every single day that's a lot of work that's also a lot of posting and spamming people i don't want to see your freaking ketones every single day on my social media you know what i mean like it's just just very spammy i don't i don't like it is that you don't know what the intention is behind the activities you're doing you're just posting and throwing things up so you can check a box and say i'm doing all the things you're not doing all the things if you don't have intentions set behind the activities you're doing in your business. Okay, if this is continuing to make sense, drop an amen in the comments below. Thank you so much, Christy and Joanne and Wendy for participating. I appreciate you. Y'all are amazing. Okay, so then the third and final question that I want you to ask yourself. Again, the first one is what is one activity that moves your business forward that you do every single day? Number two is what is the intention behind that thing? And number three, this is very important. This step right here is where you are going to get the biggest return on investment. Do not skip number three. Number three is what is the direct follow-up from that activity? You need to have a follow-up set in your mind before you ever post a piece of content because here's what's happening in some of y'all's businesses. 
You know that reels are the number one way to grow on Facebook and Instagram right now. So you are just post, 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 and you are so frustrated that your business is not growing and you don't understand why. Your business isn't growing because you're creating the content, but you're not having the conversations. You have hundreds of views on things and you've never talked to a single one of those people. I love y'all, but you are not genies. You don't just get to throw stuff out there and the business just happens. You have to have the conversations. You have to build the relationships. You must do the follow-ups. You can't close a sale with somebody you're not talking to unless you have a rock solid brand that you have been building for years. So what is the direct follow up from that one activity? So going back to the one activity example that I gave you, which is posting my mix up in my stories every single day, based on my intention that day, my follow up will change. So let's go back to the example of trying to start new conversations where I said, never heard of this product before. Click here to find out more. I want people to take action and click the link by themselves. 99% of people who even click the link won't actually go through the information. You have to be the boss of your business and be intentional with your actions. So yes, I said if, if you're in this woman's downline and you still believe that you are a boss in your own business, please, please just t take a moment to reflect on the situation that we have here. There's this lady that is yelling and screaming at you and telling you what you need to be doing on your social media. How are you your own boss if this is what you have to put up with from this lady every day? Like, I'm just so exhausted. I don't understand why they have to yell. Like, why is she yelling? Her audio is fine if she just spoke normally she doesn't have to yell yelling doesn't equal passionate you know what I mean it's just it makes me very uncomfortable when they yell if you want more information click here most people are not going to actually click there and get the information so I'm gonna do my boss job and I'm going to reach out to the people who viewed my story and start a conversation Hey, Joanne, thank you so much for watching my stories this morning. I appreciate you. Were you looking for more information? On this is made in 2023, so it tells me that she has no clue about how Instagram works. Instagram stories, you can just be shuffling from person to person. Just because you have a view on your story, it doesn't mean that that person watched it from the beginning to the end. And it doesn't mean that that person specifically clicked on you to watch your stories. They could have just been shuffling everyone's stories randomly. My product or just being supportive you have to put in the follow-up work business is not magic business is work network marketing is work you must do the work you cannot just create 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 and skip the follow-up step you have to put in the work it's you people are watching you your personality your joy they're watching you you need to reach out to them and have an actual conversation with them so what is the direct follow-up message that you are going to send people you need to have a follow-up for every piece of content that you are creating or what's the point if you don't have a direct follow-up from each piece of content that you create, you are leaving the future of your business in the hands of people who are just on social media to consume. I don't want that. I do not want the future of my business, which is the legacy of my family, to be in the hands of people who are just content consumers. How cringy is it when you say your proven business is your the legacy of your family? God, that is so bad. You're literally in a product-based permit scheme, in my opinion. So that's a very lousy legacy to leave to your poor children. I want the future of my business to be in my hands. So when I find an activity that moves my business forward and I know the intentions behind it, there must be a direct follow-up for that exact activity. Because when you already have the follow-up set before you create the content, you're actually excited and ready when people like, love, comment, share, or view your stories. Because you already know what you're gonna say. You already know the intention and your script perfectly matches your intention of what you're trying to achieve. 
So there's no overwhelm. There's no anxiety. There's no like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? What do I say? Oh my gosh, I got a leg. What do I do? You already set your intentions and your follow-up script before you ever even posted your content. Your stress goes down. Your overwhelm goes down. Your anxiety goes down because you are such a boss in your business. that You already know exactly what you're going to do before you ever even click post. So if you want 2023 to be less stressful, less overwhelming, include less anxiety in your business, you need to follow these steps for every single activity you do in your business. If you Yeah, sure. If you want to be less stressed about failing and prove it and not making any profit, what's going to help you is to make it even more stressful by making even more follow-ups and reels and posting shit every single day on your social media. Because yeah, that's not going to burn you out completely. You can't find an intention and a follow-up to connect with people for an activity. Stop doing the activity. Stop doing the activity. And if you already have a list of things that you do every single day for the last six months, I need you to ask yourself, is this list getting me to my goals? Or is it missing intention? Or is it missing follow-up? Or is it just something I added to my daily to-do list so I could feel good checking it off? These are questions that we as bosses must ask ourselves in order to grow. you have a random lady on social media screaming at you you are not a boss of your own business how are you a boss when this lady is literally screaming at you for the past 15 minutes but just please do the math the math ain't mathing and the more you work the more money goes to her grow our business in order to grow our brands in order to grow our legacy and our future and our vision these are tough conversations that we must have with ourselves and once you have those conversations, it's like boom, 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 because the stress is down, the overwhelm is down, the anxiety is down, and the, ex woo, and the excitement and the joy is up. You start enjoying your business again. You start having fun with your business again. You start getting back into more content that makes you excited, that serves your audience, that helps you to actually achieve the goals that you've set. It makes business fun again. When you know it moves your business forward, when you know the intention, and you already know what you're going to say as a follow-up, you already know exactly how you are going to build a relationship with these people, okay? If that was valuable for you, do me a favor and either share it privately with your team or tag two friends that are also trying to grow and expand their business in 2023. I promise you, they will thank you, okay? So again, my name is Brittany Anderson. Y'all can also call me hashtag BA Boss Babe. I help women grow six and seven figure businesses online in order to become and live debt free. I love y'all, I appreciate you, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Girl, nothing here was valuable because you were just shouting at people about nothing about posting more on social media there's nothing valuable about that god this was exhausting let's go to kelsey our girl kelsey she's been featured here as well pretty problematic sometimes really bad with marketing but today she's not bending over to i don't know market a, a great business opportunity i guess i mean this is a reference this is not meant to be an insult because she does do only fans apparently but yeah this has nothing to do with it this has something to do with a video that i posted i think two weeks ago where she she was bending down towards the camera just a weird angle and she was talking about this business opportunity it was just a very weird marketing whatever if you can call that marketing stunt but yeah she's sitting down today let's see what she has to say the caption here says pyramid schemes gross smiley face so it should be interesting hey 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 it's kelsey ray coming at you live from charleston as you guys are hopping on please drop a one in the comments if you can see this okay and drop a two if you are watching this on the replay and if you would please share this out and type in the comments the word shared you can help me reach more people but you could also be entered into my giveaway if you want to win some free stuff okay so make sure you do that and watch my stories to see if you win um but let me know in the comments where you guys are coming from i am in charleston south carolina so i was just listening to a podcast 
podcast, okay? And I really needed to hop on here and talk about pyramid schemes. How many of you guys have ever heard of pyramid schemes? Type a yes in the comments if so. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that today and really probably shift some perspectives, okay? So how many of you guys work a nine to five job? You can put nine to five in the comments and I want to know what your opinion or where, where your opinion comes from. If you are like, yes, pyramid schemes are ridiculous and my limbs are ridiculous i want to know like what did you go through something that gave you that opinion or did you hear that from somebody else a friend of a friend of a friend or maybe you just see it going around or you hear other people's bad experiences because i agree pyramid schemes are the fucking worst and i'm sorry for my language if that bothers you i really do apologize i don't want to offend anybody but that's just who i am i hope you guys can relate hi Haley. hi sherry hi melissa hi christina please you guys share this out type in the comments the word shared so one thing about pyramid schemes, okay, and, and the reason I'm talking about this now because I just listened to a podcast. If, do you guys listen to podcasts? Type a yes in the comments if you do. Um, but I was listening to a podcast, and one of the things that... God, I thought the first lady was exhausting. This one's even... <laughs> Why are you talking so quickly? I, I, okay, let me back up for a second. Does anybody here know what I do? Okay, so number one, I've been doing what I do for almost four years at this point. I am a social media influencer. I affiliate myself with a company that has a really amazing product. A social media influencer who hides her likes on her post. A social media influencer who is in a product-based pyramid scheme, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but that's just my opinion and prove it. So I'm looking forward to hearing what her definition of a pyramid scheme is going to be and the explanation as to why prove it is not a pyramid scheme and there is no cap there is no bullshit compensation plan there is no schemes involved there is no crappy product that doesn't actually work and all this like what we do actually works and what i have is really amazing and so i have this opportunity to help other people make some money from their phones like i said i'm a verified six-figure earner that i've been doing this for almost four years at this point hi mary hi christina i already said hi christina but make sure you guys say hi in the comments if you can actually see this okay because my facebook has been janky lately just like really janky okay can you see this type of yes all right so one thing about um the compensation plan with me. facebook or any social media out there would be janky if you're spamming people and if they think that you're a spammer and then they reduce your reach and people don't see your posts and stuff because you're banned because you're spammy okay you guys is that there's no there's no cap okay and, and that's something that i really do enjoy and i love about this because most companies that you join and and have a product and sell a product hi summer hi tiffany i love you guys thank you so much um most companies that you join actually do have a cap like you literally like let's just say someone uh, joins a business they make five hundred thousand dollars a month and then the person the, the 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 line of people under them that they actually recruit they literally can only make like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars it literally gets cut in half every line right that is a pyramid scheme well maybe not i don't know there's a lot of freaking companies out there that have products that are just kelsey girl you don't know what a pyramid scheme is it's one google search away something's a pyramid scheme if most money comes from recruitment it has nothing to do with capped income or whatever your earnings potential it's if most money comes from recruitment pyramid schemes can have products or no products just investments it's that simple one Google search away, but no, Kelsey had to hop onto this live, speak 100 miles an hour without even Googling what she's talking about. Oh my God. Crash, right? Tell me in the comments below, how many, what companies have you tried that like literally just you, you thought so highly loving it, so highly of, and then you literally realize when you're doing the product, you're like, this is bullshit. Like this is absolutely not what is advertised. It does not work. It makes you sick. It makes you whatever. Okay. That Most people improve it who are at the bottom few ranks who earn 10 dollars and 48 cents i mean i could go on but yeah uncapped earnings potential but yet so many people don't make any profit and improve it i wonder why is that kelsey i would love to hear your explanation on that one that is probably a scam but what i'm saying is like in this compensation plan specifically you can out earn the person that brought you in you can out earn anybody in the company it doesn't matter the ranks or anything yes we have ranks that's just to determine like i guess levels of the business and how much you sell in points but remember that lady from a few weeks ago as well that said the pyramid schemes are a beautiful business model where you can out earn anyone who's above you so yeah this lady has the same definition of pyramid scheme it doesn't matter if you can out earn someone or not if most money is coming from recruitment and you're out earning them 
because you're recruiting loads. Product-based pyramid scheme, baby. But we also don't cap you at that. We don't say, okay, well, because you only reach rank three, you could only make $5,000 a month. I don't know. I'm just like coming up with some numbers, right? So you can literally out earn anybody in the company. So at any point in time, you guys want to know more about what I do, please type in the comments the word biz and I can send you a message and we can have a conversation. But I just think it's so crazy to me that a lot of people have this really odd perception of what, um, MLMs are well there's a lot of MLMs that have really bad reps because their products are trash it's uh, it's literally just about the products and if you see somebody that's doing a product that doesn't have visible results from the product you need to immediately exit left that is a huge red flag hi Lisa hi Demania Dominia to Damiana I'm sorry if I just butchered your freaking name but hello um oh thank you so much too so anyways, I just feel like there's a lot of misconception about what it is. And so let me just set the record straight. I am in network marketing. Do you guys know what that is? And if you've never been through it and if you've never been burned by it, you should not have a negative opinion about, uh, about it. You should never have a negative opinion about something that someone else experienced. That is the craziest thing to me, right? So I'm telling you right now, network marketing is the evolution of making a successful life okay and here's why do you guys know the definition of network marketing you're pretty much marketing something do you know the definition of network marketing kelsey anything it could be shirts you can make shirts in your damn house you can make tumblers i say this all the time you can make you can you can do crafts you could sell your damn tv if you want to okay but guess what you're marketing whatever you want what Whatever you want market whatever you want and you love and you're passionate about to your network of people now the thing that I like to teach people okay by the way I see there's like literally almost 15 of you on here at this point say hi in the comments please so I can tell you hi um and so I know that you're watching hello can you see me can you hear me hello so anyways <laughs> you can literally market anything and it's about your network of people so one thing that I actually love teaching people is how to grow their network okay now I'm not gonna teach you to go knock on doors okay how many of you guys have ever um, how many of you guys actually think that network marketing means you're knocking on people's doors type a yes or a no in the comments hi Brittany hi Rose hi you're here summer appreciate you girl um, that's not what network marketing is okay so we have this really cool thing called social media how many of you guys have social media? Every one of you should be saying yes because literally you're watching me on a live right now. Everybody has social media. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Hey Kelsey girl, since you don't know how to use Google apparently, let me just put the definition. Because network marketing, a definition of it says another term for pyramid selling. Network marketing is an industry that has produced millionaires, but very rarely do people get rich in this business. <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. Twitter, LinkedIn, what, tell me in the comments, how many of those do you have? What different apps do you have for social media that you use on a daily basis? Okay. So that, what I do is I teach people to brand themselves. I teach people to brand themselves based on what they, who they are and what they love and what they can talk about and things that they know the most. And then I teach them to go make content with that brand and that helps to develop followers. How many of you guys were on my live yesterday? Type a yes in the comments if so. Because I talked yesterday about gaining traction and gaining followers on social media. So I'm very good at doing this. So if you guys want to know more in depth about how I can help you build a business through social media and start making money from your phone, no scams, no bullshit, type in the comments the word biz. I know you're scared. And I know that you're only scared because you've heard all these bad things about working from your phone and everything's a scam. And if you got to put money in it, that means this is a scam. I don't know who the, I don't know who the F said that. Hi, Ron. Hi, Brianna. Brianda, I'm sorry. I'm really messing up y'all's names. I am so sorry. Summer, I'm a message you girl. Most of you have this perception of working from your phone and if you have to put money in, then that means it's a scam. But what about No one has a bad perception of working from your phone, Kelsey. No one has a bad perception of investing money into something. It's network marketing, multi marketing, direct selling, whatever you want to call it. People have bad perception on that because it's a scammy business model. Also, speaking about definitions and stuff, up to 99% of people in multi-level marketing companies, all of them out there never make any profit. And 
this is according to the FTC. So all the links are going to be in the description box below, as well as prove its income disclosure statement, which shows how many people managed to earn any profit in this amazing company. And spoiler alert, not many of them do. Starting a business, like you literally go and rent a building because you want to sell t-shirts. Like you make really awesome t-shirts and you want to start your own business and you want to go literally build a business. You go and you rent a um a, 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 a literal building you rent it out right number one you're putting money down you're putting money into that and i can guarantee it's over a thousand dollars some of you guys are spending thousands of dollars a month on bullshit that you don't need but you don't want to spend a thousand dollars to invest into a business that could literally help save your entire life I don't know if anybody here is new. If you're if you're new here, type new. If you've been around for a while, type OG because you are a, an original. Okay, Kelsey Ray fan, a follower. Thank you. Hi Stacy. Hi Sierra. Hi Carrie. Good morning. So um, I. I don't come from money. I, I when someone with a small Instagram account or whatever other social media they use call people who follow them fans, I always get a little bit of an icky feeling. I had zero. I had zero followers. You guys, would you believe it? I had zero followers. How many friends do you guys have on Facebook alone? Just tell me in the comments. How many friends do you have on Facebook? I had zero. I probably had like five hundred friends on Facebook when I first started this. I did not have TikTok at all. Didn't even have the app. I had. I had nothing. I had no followers, no influence, no confidence. I had no, no drive even, but I started drinking something called ketones and it gave me really good energy, which in turn gave me motivation to start, to start pouring into my body. Oh yeah, I guess them being all hyperactive and shouting and yelling in their lives just means that the ketones are doing what they're supposed to do. They give them so much energy that they just want to shout at you for 15 minutes straight. Which in turn gave me like the internal energy to start talking to people about it. So I got on Facebook and I started going live and I started posting and sure enough here we are almost four years later and I've developed over millions of followers across multiple platforms you guys I'm telling you I know what I'm talking about I know what I'm doing if you are not taking your own life into your own hands and I'm not saying that network marketing is for everybody and you don't have to build a business online if you don't want to but if you feel like you have a greater purpose if you feel like you really you really want to do what I do I promise you stop telling yourself that you can't do it you can do it if you guys are watching this right now please say hi in the comments make sure you give this video a like and make sure you share this out type in the comments the word shared I have a giveaway I run it every single week you just watch my stories to see if you win it is literally that simple you can literally try ketones for free you can taste the flavors you can see how the energy feels you can see how the focus feels you can literally see how it feels to be in a state of ketosis without having to do a keto diet now it's not a magic pill okay but i will walk you through it hi tammy hi brandon hi nova what is up you guys but my point being is there's so much more out there for you there's so much more out there for a lot of you and you're just so terrified and a lot of you guys are terrified what somebody else is gonna think oh man your families your families are the first ones your mom, your dad, your sister, your cousin, your aunt, those are the first people to tear you down and look at you like you're crazy when you start going live on social media, when you start posting about something that you're passionate about, that you love, when you start posting a product and they're going to all talk shit to you, a lot of you guys are terrified of that. And it Define talk shit, Kelsey, because most of the people probably just express their concerns or say, hey, are you sure about this? Because this kind of looks like a pyramid scheme and has very bad statistics and very low income potential. Have you tried checking this out or have you tried to read this? I would not call that talking shit or tearing you down. That's just them being concerned about you being in a dodgy business. Hold you back in life so much so much you don't even understand thank you for sharing tammy i appreciate you girl hi sherry i'm just letting you guys know i can help you i can help you build an income i can help you build your self-confidence i can help you build an influence on social media if you just type the word biz in the comments i will send you a message and i will have a conversation with you i'll share a video with you about what i do and how you can do it too but i'm telling you you're gonna hear me talk about this non-stop this is not a pyramid scheme and what i was talking about in the very beginning of this is that you are not capped you can out earn every single person in the damn company it just depends on how much you work okay network okay okay kelsey i mean let's do the definition game again pyramid scheme definition it says a form of investment illegal in the uk and elsewhere in which each paying participant recruits two further participants with returns being given to early participants using money contributed by later ones so pyramid scheme 
is about recruitment. It has nothing to do with capped or uncapped potential. Just because you may be able to earn more money than your upline, it doesn't mean that it's not a pyramid scheme, that you're not in a product-based pyramid scheme. It's so quick to use Google, but yeah, I guess Kelsey's not. She just didn't bother to try and Google something before she goes on to an Instagram live and starts talking about the thing that she never Googled and she doesn't really know what it is. Work marketing works if you work. People who are lazy as fuck, I'm sorry to say this, okay? This might hurt some feelings. Hi Kay, hi Kimberly. Make sure you guys are sharing this out. Type in the comments word shared, all right? I'm sorry to say this, but people who are lazy and have a employee mindset don't succeed in network marketing because it takes consistent work it takes consistent so 99 percent of people who are hundreds of thousands if not millions probably millions of people who join network marketing companies they're just lazy yeah and the few on top are the only people in the world that are not lazy great kelsey really great energy it takes consistency and showing up on social media you can't build a following on social media if you go mia for three or four days at a time now if you feel like you have a bigger calling and you're like i want to be i thought she was gonna say like three or four weeks three or four days you're not allowed to get a break from social media for a few days that sucks be a social media influencer i want to build influence i want a million followers i want this i want to make money from my phone i don't want to be suffering i really 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 want to give my kids a life that they deserve if you're a mom type in the comments the word mom because that's my mission right i started this whole new mission to like help mothers put more money in their pockets mothers earning more money there there's a slogan mothers earning more money right so t type in the comments the word mom if you're a mom and i know that a lot of you guys probably come from nothing right tell me in the comments below if you if you if you were just raised in maybe you weren't like in poverty like you weren't like home i used i was homeless at one point okay so i come from nothing right and uh i know a lot of you probably come from hard times and you're just thinking like i don't want my kids to experience this i for one i'm gonna tell you right now i don't want my kids to experience a mediocre life i want my kids to experience anything and everything that they possibly can and i'm going to be the one that gives it to them because nobody else is going to give your kids the life they deserve besides their mother or their father Either one. If you're a dad, type in the comments the word dad. I don't know if, I don't know if men watch me, but like anyways, I just really wanted to go live about pyramid schemes because I I'm telling you, it's nothing not everything is what it seems. And if you're taking your opinion about MLM or network marketing because you heard Sally down the street say that she got a product that didn't actually work for her please use some brain cells and start thinking for yourself. Start have so many people are terrified terrified to not just join business but join in on business but to also do the product because like what if it doesn't work what if it does what i can't imagine going on an instagram live or a facebook live and talking to people who watch me in this way you're doing the same thing if someone heard something bad about pyramid schemes or mlms just watches you who obviously didn't even google the definition of a pyramid scheme why should they take your opinion on pyramid schemes and be like oh okay so i'm just gonna listen to you rather than what the other person told me they're still doing the same thing if you wanted to really educate people and give them good advice you would have said go google this go do your research on this this and that and then make your own conclusion rather than doing the exact same thing that you're telling them not to do also there is such thing as a product-based pyramid scheme which in my opinion is what mlms are what if it does start asking yourself that what if it does what if it absolutely changes your entire freaking life make sure you guys share this out type in the comments word share because this shit is fire okay i'm gonna take it and cut it up and put it on youtube because what the hell I'm just on cloud nine right now because I just like literally had a bomb ass workout and my glutes are on fire and I just freaking feel so good. I got it. I really need to go, go get my nails done. But anyways, I'm just saying type in the comments the word biz. If you want me to help mentor you into just a better life in general, I, I'm, t I'm telling you, you just gotta trust me. Okay? I know a lot of things. I know how to teach you how to build a followers, a followers, a following. I know how to teach you how to put, put content on the internet, on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram. I know how to teach you to get the traction. Tammy, I love you, girl. Thank you so much. Hi, Kobe. Thank you so much, guys, for the comments and the likes and the stars and everything. Y'all are amazing. And I'm telling you right now, let me help you change your life. And I'm not making any broken promises. I literally have people under me earning six figures a year. Why can't you? Why can't it be you? 
how many of you guys would just love to just work from your phone, live inside of your passion, be your best self and make a living? Not even just a living, a substantial living. Melissa actually right here, Melissa on here, Kobe on here. A lot of people on here right now are part of the team and they can, they can tell you, I know what, the, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, but Melissa actually is one of, um, she's rising up and she's rising up very quickly and I'm telling you. Right okay. That was the live. I guess she ended the live. Maybe she cursed one too many times in the Instagram. <laughs> just cut it off. Ah, this is so weird. Both of them were just yelling and it's just so exhausting when people yell at me about how network marketing is a great opportunity. Anyways, this lady is a lot, but I guess, yeah, I guess that's their marketing tactic of like, look, I'm drinking ketones and they give me so much energy and I'm so passionate about this. So I'm just going to get onto my Instagram live and shout at everyone who watches. Also, also, Kelsey was really rude as well. So yeah, I didn't appreciate that one. But let me know down below what you thought about this. What is your own definition of pyramid scheme? I, I think my favorite definition of pyramid scheme was still that it's a beautiful business model where you can earn more than your boss. Thanks. If you're still here, you're a trooper. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button because it helps my channel out. And as always, big shout out to all my channel members. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you all in the next one.